I'm Anthony from Learning to Play the Guitar. In this video, we're going to learn how to play Hey Jude by the Beatles. So this song has three main parts. It has a verse, uh, what I'll call the bridge, and then has like a coda, which is the na 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 bit that goes on for a very long time on the end. So chords, there's the main part of the song has three main chords and the ending bit has an extra chord chucked at the end of it, of course. So the first three chords we need to know to play the song. Um, note I'm using a capo on fret one here. So the song's in the key of F. To play along with the Beatles, I'll put a capo on fret one, which results in us, instead of having to play an F bar chord, we can now play an E major chord shape, which is one of these guys. That's the first chord. The second chord in the tune is B7. One of those. And the other chord we need to worry about for the verse and the sort of the bridge section as well is A major. And so you can do A a few ways. I like to do it with my first finger in the middle, one above, one below. Because then it makes it easy to get back to E. Or I need to just slide that first finger back and a pair up and that will go backwards and forwards nice and easy like that. Cool. So strumming wise, and there's a, obviously a structure of how these chords are played, um, they're fairly long bars, if you like. So to strum a bar of E in this song, we're gonna do down, 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 up, times two. So here's a bar of E, for example, strumming pattern is down, 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 up, down, 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 up. I'll do it one more time. E is down, down, So that happens for a bar. So in the verse, there's a bar of E, two bars of B7, a bar of E, a bar of A, a bar of E again, a bar of B7 again, and a bar of E. So it's really just three chords mixed up as it goes along. So I'll have a strum through the whole verse, fairly simple. Um, I sort of created the strumming pattern sort of based on the tambourine rhythm that comes in uh, in the second verse. So it's sort of something similar to that. Uh, so three and verse is E down. Is that. Uh, one thing I should say as well is getting from E to B7, there's a little trick to that. So if you've got E major, which is that shape, to change to B7, if it's a new chord for you, keep the top finger stuck down as I'm doing here. He doesn't move at all. So what happens is from E, one finger comes down and the other finger behind, this guy, comes up a string. And so then we've got this little triangle shape and then we add the little finger in underneath. Ultimately, it will all happen together. But if you can get the triangle sorted, the little finger can be added a little bit later as you're practicing that change. So and then to go backwards, of course, we lose a little finger, front guy up, back guy down. So sort of up and down switcheroo, makes the triangle, little finger down the bottom, playing B7, little finger off, up and down, reversed back A, we're back to E. One thing too for playing the B7 chord, is try and avoid hitting that E string because it's not really part of the chord, it sort of clashes a bit. So if you end up strumming, say, B7 with an E string, you'd end up with this horrible rumbling thing like this. Sort of this sort of annoying neighbor, if you like. So to fix that or avoid that happening, you can practice a few ways. Practice strumming five strings. With the accuracy, like that. Or you can do little tricks where you can mute the E string with either the edge of this finger touching the edge of the string there or you can even use your thumb a little bit on top if you need on top of the neck there to fix it up if that ruins your chord quality I probably would avoid doing that for me I sort of do a combination of both muting and hopefully accurate strumming to get a nice clear B7 versus a non clear six string E string rumble so you can hear a big difference in sound between five strings and six so that that's a really important thing to take note of to make your B7 sound really clear. So that's the B7 trick and that's the verse. So now there's the bridge section where they have that little gap. Um, the first vocal line here is um, yeah, anytime you feel 
the pain that's when he sings that line and there's other gaps like that similar as it goes through the tune um, so to make that gap it is an E chord but it's actually an E7 and E7 is a pretty easy chord to play so we have E normal E which we just played lose the middle finger of that shape so this uh, third finger pops off so we have E like E with a hole in it as I say uh, and so then you end up with that anytime you feel that and then it goes to an A chord so that here we actually have a little pause or a rest it's basically it's a four beat break so it'd be like one two three four then we're strumming A and fo after that we have two bars of A which I basically do the same down down jumping if I have this little triangle shape sort of planted over there and stretch it out and we're in B7 area again down 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 up one bar back to E major which is the first chord we play in the tune down 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 and that repeats again so E7 finger off one two three four A down 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 up goes for another bar Triangle jump and little finger addition down the bottom. Down, 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 down. Back to E. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And then there's this na 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 bit E. Na 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 na, and then a B7. Na 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 na, a little piano fill. Then we're back to the verse. So just one E, one B7. And then you're back to hey, another verse. Do the whole verse again so it jumps backwards and forwards between the verse and that bridge section so have a listen to the song to hear when that happens you can sort of hear those pauses to hear the um the actual bridge it's sort of fairly obvious so then the only other part of the song is the coda or the final section of the song as they call it um and to get into that there's a bit after the verse so you end up with Na 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 land. So the chords at the end, which they jam out on, are E, which done a lot of E in this song, D, D major, A major. And so I'm doing again that first ring in the middle because then I can just go from D, surround that first ring and then move to A. And then we can slide back to E, first finger, pair up, E, and that just goes round and round. Um, and so basically it's E, D, A, E, and then E again. And again, I'm just using the same strum all the way through to keep it easy so let's do a few of them three and e is down 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 up down 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 up d down up down 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 and an a and back to e and one more time e and d and you got an a So that's all the bits of Hey Jude by the Beatles. It's a great sing-along tune, so have fun learning that one.